Hello guys, this is JDCR. In this video, I'm going to talk about Dragunov and his offense. I will only be talking about his most important moves to deliver tips concisely. First, I want to talk about Rolling 2, which is a significant move. Rolling 2 gives huge plus frames so you can pressure your opponent. The basic theory here is that you can do down fold 4, down fold 1, and more for mid control and down to 4 low control. Down fold 1 tracks right side step, and down fold 4 tracks left side step. However, there is something I don't like about it. There is a high possibility that the opponent can sidestep our moves and punish. We cannot predict which way he will move next. Another thing I don't like is that I'm in the negative frame right after they block all my moves, including homing moves. I feel like I'm giving them a turn to space or attack me. To cover this downside that I just show you, I like to do jab three such as 1-1-3 or 2-1 to track their sidesteps. There are a few advantages to it. First, we can track their sidestep very safely and we don't give them an opportunity to control spacing. Second, we don't take the risk of our opponent sidestepping our moves and punishing us or getting down to a low period. Lastly, we get the value of keeping him in our space. We can be more strategic if we control the situation. So, my suggestion is, after learning to, try to understand how he defends himself and compose your own movement. Don't just think about simple low mid mix ups, react accordingly. Now, let's discuss down 2. Down 2 is greatly affected in season 2 because it's now negative 1 frame on hit and Dragon Up crouches himself and not the opponent. Since it's a negative 1 frame, it's very difficult to keep the pressure on. The biggest change here is that our wide standing 4 loses to his 1 jab. Also, our opponent can sidestep our wide standing 4. However, we can still sidestep our opponent's moves and control spacing with the down 2. In Season 2, Dragon Up players need to be more patient for sure. Next, I want to talk about back on boss 2. This medium move gives a huge plus frame on block which is plus 6 and makes great damage on hit. But this mid move is a big short range hit. It's not easy to find the spot where our opponent can backdash or sidestep. For this reason, it's better to use this move at a wall. The next move I like to use is 113 string. The third input is a mid move so we can drill our opponent with a 113. It's a tricky to the mixer with 1-1 one one low or 1-1 one one mid or other combos. It sounds difficult, but you can also do 1-1 one one back 4-3 or 1-1 one one down 4-1 for counter hit. Because back 4-3 and down 4-1 have different timing coming out than the last 3 hit. So I would say it's very confusing. Now I talk about a 4-4. This move tracks right side step very well. On the other hand, it's very weak to left side step. If you have to go for a very strong middle low mix up, you can probably utilize a 4 4 with a down 2 and throws. This is what you should take away from this video. 1. Create more range and space with the running 2 and jab series. 2. Be patient with the down 2. 3. Utilize back 1 plus 2 and a 4 4 for big damage. Dragonov is another character that only relies on mid-low puck. Dragonov needs to control the situation such as spacing, range, and precise timings to get counter hit with running two or bigger mid moves. Because of this, he's an intermediate character for beginners to learn. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment what you would like to see from me in the future. Thanks guys!